Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve problem number 120 and 121. Problem number 120, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We are told that Alex is 14 years older than Ben. Alex's age, we are further told, is as much below 40 as Ben's is above 20. For example, pretend Alex make up a number for an Alex age. If we're going to pretend that Alex is, if we're going to pretend that Alex is 46 years old, then we are told that Alex is as much below as oh as much below 40. He cannot be 46. Let's make it 36. As much below for, for Alex's age is as much below 40. As you can see, if he's 36, then he's 4 years below 40. Because 40 is 4 more than 36. Alex's age is 4 years below 40. That's what that means. That's what this means. Alex's age is as much below 40 as Ben's is above 20. Let's pretend that Ben is, let's pretend that Ben is uh, uh, 27. If Ben is 27, then Ben's age above 20, how much above 20 it is? It's 7. And you can see they do not agree. These are not correct ages. How do we solve it? Let's do it together. Shall we? Let's do it together. First thing first, we have two unknowns, Alex's age and Ben's age. Let's, we're going to use letter A and B to represent their ages. We have two unknowns, so we better have two equations. And we are going to have two equations because an equation in the language of algebra, an equation is just a sentence. Just like in language, we have sentences. Language language, uh, languages are made up of sentences. The statements in the language of algebra are made up of equations. Here are the, here are the two sentences, and those are our two equations. The first sentence is this, Alex is 14 years older than Ben. So if we're going to represent A for Alex's age and B for Ben's age, we know that Alex is 14 years older than Ben. So whatever the Ben's age is, Alex's age is 14 years more. So whatever Ben, however old Ben is, if you were to add 14 to it, that's how old Alex is. Or if you like, whatever age, Alex's age, however old Alex is, Alex is 14 years more than B. Uh, Alex is 14 years older than Ben. So if you were to take away 14 from his age, that's how old Benjamin is. And of course they are one and the same, because if you subtract 14 from both sides, you end up with that. This is one and the same, obviously. So you can look at it this way or that way. It doesn't really matter. Let's continue. We're wasting time. Let's look at second. Let's look at second statement. Alex's age is as much below 40. So if you're going to represent Alex's age as letter A, then if you were to subtract that amount from 40, Alex's age is as much below 40 as, as which means equals, Ben's age is above 20. So whatever the Ben's age is, if you subtract 20 from it, that difference is same as this difference. Rest is downhill. The rest is downhill. We're just going to substitute. We have A here. A equals B plus 14. We're going to put it in here and go for it. So 40 minus A, which we know is B plus 14. B plus 14 would have to equal B minus 20. Open the parentheses. We get 40 minus B. Oh. You see, I made a mistake here. As we open the parentheses, the negative is distributed, and it's going to become negative 14. You have to pay attention, otherwise, otherwise it's going to be a problem. The rest is very straightforward. Let's add b to both sides. If we add b to both sides, this b is going to drop out. Let's bring the 20 to this side by adding 20 to both sides. Let's add 20 to both sides. And we can end up 60 minus 14. These b's are going to drop out. 60 minus 14 equals b plus b, which is 2b. And this is going to drop out. 60 minus 14. 60 minus 10 is 50. So it's going to be 46. 2b equals 46, which implies that b must be 23. b must be 23. If B is 23, A must be, A must be 23 plus 14, which is 737. And now we can see what they meant by that. Alex's age, Alex's age, we just found out to be 37, 
is as much below 40. How much below 40 is 37? 37 is 3 below 40. Alex's edge is as much below 40 as Ben's edge is above 20. Ben is 23. 23 is 3 more than 20. You see? Alex's edge is as much Alex's edge, which is 37. So what we're saying is that 37 is as much below 40 as Ben's edge, which we just found out is 23. So what the, what, the, what, it, what the statement reads now is this. It says 37 is as much below 40 as 23 is above 20, which makes sense. You want to do one more? Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. We need the rooms. We need to raise all of this thing. Number 121. We are told that A is 5 times as old as B. We are further told that in 7 years time, in 7 years time, A will only be twice as old as B. Find their edges. Find their edges. Let's see what we can do. First thing first. First thing first, we need to define their variables. So let's do that. We're going to use small letter A and small letter B to represent their edges. So here, here's the solution. That's the very first thing you have to do. You have to define your unknowns, you have to define your variable. Let A and B, A and B represent their ages. I'm not going to, out of laziness, out of sheer laziness, I'm just saying their ages. You understand that A represents Mr. A's age and B represents Mr. B's age. Is that good enough? Is that the, is that the uh, sufficient uh, definition? Is that the correct definition? Is that a clear definition of the variables? The answer is no. The answer is no, no, no. Because the problem deals with more than one time period. If the problem deals with more than one time period, whether it deals with two time periods or three time periods, as long as it deals with more than one time period, if you're going to define your variables, you have to specify the time period. It just says A and B represents their ages. Their ages when? Their ages now? or their ages seven years from now. We have to specify here, we have to make it very clear. Let A and B represent their current ages. It's very important that we specify, otherwise it's, it has no meaning. Otherwise that statement absolutely has no meaning. It's, it's vague, it's ambiguous. It is open to interpretation. Now we can continue. So today we know that A is five times as old as B. So A, A is the age we are representing the letter A, and B says today we are representing with letter B. So this is today. Let's, let's, put, let's put today on top so we don't get confused. Here is today. And here is seven years from now. Seven years from now. We are going to do it with two different time periods next to each other. And what do we know today? We know that today A is five times as old as B. So if we are going to represent A's age with letter A. And B's age with letter B that this quantity A's age is 5 times B's age. So whatever the B's age is, if you multiply that by 5, that's how old A is today. What happens 7 years from now? Well, if A happens to be A year old today, 7 years from now, we better be A plus 7. And if B happens to be B year old today, then 7 years from now, he's going to be B plus 7. Whatever his age is today, whatever his age is today, he's just going to be 7 more than that. And what sort of relationship exists between these two quantities seven years from now? Well, that's from the second sentence. It says in seven years' time, A, A will be thrice as old. Thrice as old. We learned the word thrice in our vocabulary lessons. Vocabulary lessons on day number, day number 63. On day number 63 of our vocabulary lessons, we learned the word thrice. We learned that it's a very fancy way of saying three times as much. In seven years' time, A will be three times as old as B. So whatever the B's age is, if you multiply that by three, that's how old A is going to be seven years from now. The rest is very easy. 
A equals 5B, we're going to put it in here and solve for it. That's all it is. So A equals 5B, let's put it in here. So A equals 5B plus 7. Open the parentheses, we get 3B plus 21. Subtract 3B from both sides. Subtract 7 from both sides. 3B, positive 3B and a negative 3B are going to cancel out. Positive 7 and negative 7 are going to cancel out. Positive 5B and a negative 3B is going to give us 2B equals 21 minus 7, which is 14, which means B must be 7. If B is 7, A is 5 times as much, which means A must be 5 times 7, or 35. Are we done? The answer is no, we're not quite done yet. We have to verify our answer, we're going to verify this. So this, what do this represent? This quantity 35 and 7, what do they represent? They represent their current ages. A, we are claiming, what we are claiming here is that A is 35 years old and B is 7 years old today. Let's see what happens 7 years from now. We're going to verify it, make sure that all the pieces of the puzzles fit together. So 7 years from now, 7 years from now, a is going to be, if he's 35 years old today, 7 years from now he's going to be 42. And B, if you're going to claim that he's 7 years old today, 7 years from now he's going to be 14 years old. And is 14 times 3 equal to 42? The answer is yes, 14 times 3 does equal 42. It works. 7 years from now, A will be thrice as old as B. That's all. Even though today he happens to be five times as old, in just seven years time he will no longer be five times as old as B, he will only be thrice as old. Bye now.